guys, this is Holy Ground 903 here with another Lego Castle review. Today I've got the Trolls Mountain Fortress. It's got 844 pieces. It comes with 10 minifigures, um, and it costs $100. I got it at Toys R Us. It's an awesome set. I would recommend it to anyone. I'll show you the box first. Up here, it shows you the minifigures. And the box is basic, it just shows you everything. Sorry, in the back of the box, it's just... Got the laser woman, and just shows it. And I've got mine set up in an A format. I didn't put it in B, because I'm probably going to have it in A, so... Or C, or whatever, so... Alright, now on to the set. I'm going to do the mini figures first. I'll start out with the knights. It comes with a white horse with a gray saddle and a blue helmet. And the knight comes with a large sword and a flail. Um, it also comes with a peasant fighter with the wide-brimmed hat and a pike. It comes with a peasant fighter with chainmail armor, sword, buckler shield, and a normal helmet. It also comes with a good king. The new version of him, so that's pretty cool. It also comes with a brand new Troll King. He's got an all new bronze helmet, it's really cool. He's got a silver sword, um, a new cape. He's got really cool new stuff. He's got an all new armor for his chest, it's really, really cool. It's got the symbol in the middle, like you can see. And on his face, if you can see, Right there, he has an overgrown fang, and that eye has been gouged out, which is really cool. I love that minifigure. And then it comes with a basic troll silver sword, and then it comes with a more advanced troll with silver sword and gray helmet. And then it comes with the new troll queen wizard person. It's her. She's kind of weird. I don't really like her. She's kind of like disturbing a little bit. She's like old and not very, she seems like a neglected, like, queen that's just pretty much his, like, play toy or something, so, um, probably that's what I'll, I'll just use her as a queen or something, so that, um, but she looks really weird. She's got one up and down fang, and then she's got one, like, warped eye, and then she's got, like, green kissy lips. So, that's why I don't really like her. And the staff, the lightning is really cool. It's like a yellow and green mixed together, which is really cool. But then, this part of the staff is kind of like, it looks sort of fat to me. I don't really like that, so I'll probably make it more like the wizard's a little skinnier, and she comes with a hood. And this, this lace plate doesn't come with it. And then it comes with a barrel with two keys in it. It also comes with a barrel with a chicken leg, so you get two barrels, two keys, and a chicken leg. It also comes with two weapon racks. It comes with two brown, new, the new brown troll spears, as you can see. And it also comes with an extra silver troll sword. Um, it also comes with the new, um, two new, um, sculpted big trolls. Um, there's a green and a brown one. I'll show you the brown one. They've got the same, they're just different colors. He's got the new brown club. Very cool. He's got, like, a symbol of the troll thing there. It's kind of a little different. And right there and there are, like, scuff marks and broken pieces of his armor. And then he's got a tattoo there of the troll symbol. And right there on his helmet. So they're really cool. They're, like, elite big boys. So, big, giant trolls. So they're really cool. Now on to the castle. Um, you've got this right left wall. It's kind of small. I mean, there's not a lot of wall space, but you can still fit a good three trolls or so. And then there's a ladder that brings it down. And a little like place you could put extra troops or store some food or weapons and stuff. And then there's the caves where the two giant trolls go. And then there's this new flame. It's extremely cool. 
it's real tall and stuff, new to Castle, and I think it's in one other set, but, uh, Freezeberry Frenzies, I think, and the gates are really cool, it's got that skull up there, which I thought was a nice touch, um, it's got, like, um, the, uh, like, gate thing, and they open real easily, and they've got the new red spikes, which are really cool, I like them. And it opens up, and if they can break through, there's a little surprise. See that knob there? If you pull it, it brings down the axe. Chops their head off, and there's two of them. That was pretty cool. I liked that. And in here, there's like an archer's area. And there's got that little shape where you can put his crossbow out, which will be really cool. So you can have a good archer station in there. And the... Right side of the wall is exactly the same as the left, so. And up here, um, I don't really like this catapult that much. It's kind of short and fat. It's only, s like, six long. But I do like this. It's just it's kind of short and fat, so I'll probably take and fix that. And it only comes with one catapult bullet, which was a major letdown, but it comes with one for each, so. Now onto the tower. You've got the stairs, they're extended and longer, and then you've got like a little cave or something down there. There's a little area in there, but it's not really supposed to do anything, but... And also, when you come up the stairs, and there's the crystal ball, and over there you can see the bat on the red bottle of potion, and there's a spider and a green bottle of potion, which is pretty cool. And then up here, there's a little ledge in front of the jail. Which the jail is very cool. It's got like curved jail pieces. And then in the back, I'll show you. The back right there, you can pop that out so you can play in there. See, so you can see the spider and stuff. You can pop that out and put it in there. It's a very cool touch. And then see those flames? They're new. They're like an orange, they're real orange compared to the old ones that were more of a red. And then there's a troll shield, which one thing about castle I don't really like is that that they don't give a lot of troll weapons, shields, and then when they do, a lot of times there is decoration, so that most certainly will not stay up there. And then you've got a nice area up there. I might build the um, king a throne or something up there, because he doesn't have a throne, which I don't really like. I'll probably build him a throne somewhere at least. So, yep. It's an awesome set. I love it a lot. I can't wait to add it to my collection. And then these are the extra pieces it comes with. You get it most of, mostly those cheese slopes, a few of those black connectors, and two gray horn, two white horns, and that little piece. And um, guys, the reason I haven't posted any videos or anything is that my phone line was cut, so I haven't had the internet for about ten days. So, bear with me there. Don't, like, keep pestering me about where I am and stuff. I'm not, none, none of that really happened, but I've got a lot of mail to get up, so I just don't want you guys to be offended or anything that I haven't answered you because I've been trying. And then I got this, so I've had to build it, and I, had, I was doing a lot of stuff this week, so I've been pretty busy. So, um, I hope you guys like this LEGO Castle review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I've got, I've earned a little bit more money, so um, I'll probably be um, buying some more stuff and then doing a collection video soon, probably towards the end of June, uh, early July. Um, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay here for more Lego Castle reviews, collection updates, and funny videos. Um, I thank all of you guys. I'm almost to 200. My goal is to get to 300, so maybe I can get a partnership. And if I can get a partnership, then I can make more money to buy more Legos. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.